Okay, a few tips for your PowerPoint presentation. I do a lot of PowerPoint uh, garden presentations. And so I'm using this as, as an example. Um, this first slide right here are notes that I have. You're gonna do the same thing with your outline, okay? The outline slide is not supposed to show. So go over here to the slide, the outline slide in your case, right click with your mouse and then click hide slide. And then when you go over here, the slideshow from the beginning, you can see it starts and it completely skips that, skips that slide. It's got the little slash mark there to remind you. So that's what you'll do with your outline. It is not supposed to show. Okay, um, I do not use the narration uh, kind of thing that you're doing, um, but I added one in here just for show, okay? I have another video that shows you how to add this in here. Um, but just real quickly here, it will be an insert. It says record. You can use that if you like to. I've never done that because I just learned it this way and then uh, went on to Zoom. But if you click on media here, yeah, go from there. I have another slide showing you how to do that. But when you're done recording, you get this little annoying thing in the way, okay? There are a few things you can do with it. The easiest way is to just click it to get the little hash mark thing, the crossbars and slide it right off and it will still work. It won't show, it looks silly like that, but it won't, you know, no problem at all. Um, if you go to, uh, you could also do things like hide links with that. So for example, you can't see this right here, but I have a link hidden, okay? And um, I've done this when I taught in the classroom. And then when you click on the picture, the link, you automatically, if you're connected to the internet, of course, you go automatically to that YouTube video or whatever it is you wanna show. And that is very handy. So you can, if you like to, you can actually, um, Oh, I should show you how to do this though, because when you add a, a link like this, it's going to show and uh, you don't want it to show. So you can right click on the picture. Let's see, let's get it right, right click and see where it says bring to front or send to back. If I had it, if I wanted the picture to be behind the link, I would go like that, uh, send it to, but I don't want that. And that's where it automatically shows up. And I actually was able to move it around and things like that. Um, but if you want, would rather it not show, you cl right click on the picture and bring the picture to the front. You know, like I said, I better scooch that in a little bit. Play around. I think PowerPoint is fun to play with, actually. Okay, here's another little tip that I think helps move a presentation along a little bit. Now, in this particular case, I'm talking about grassy weeds and broadleaf weeds. And so what I did the first time around, I just duplicated the slide and you can duplicate, duplicate a slide like this. Let's go down here. This slide, if you go in the um, bar here on the left-hand sidebar, right-click on that slide and click Duplicate Slide. And see, so you have another one. Now, in that case, I don't want two of them. I'm going to delete it. But I did have two. I added, sorry. I took one, duplicated it, and added another picture. And I did that a few more times, OK? So now see what happens. Let's go to slideshow, um, slideshow from the current slide. And you can see that as I click, it moves along from picture to picture. So you could talk about things and um, quickly go through your slides. And here's another place where I actually, yeah, oh, there we go. That's actually a place where I chose to put that picture in front. Let's try sending it to back and see what happens. See, there you go. But I wanted to click it to the front. You could make things, cover um, cover other pictures. You can make your pictures hide behind the text and things like that. Anyway, so if you are interested in having a uh, PowerPoint uh, session with me, or if you want me just to get online with you sometime and help, I'd be glad to do that. Maybe we could open it up to other students. Just let me know.